happy Monday, everyone. Oh, I had quite a good sleep. I really needed it. And I'm ready to get into this week. First, though, I need to finish this coffee. This little guy doesn't want to get out of bed, but little does he know, we are about to go for a W-A-L-K. He looks so sleepy. <laughs> you want to go for a walk? Let's go. <laughs> He's so tired today. What's happening, buddy? I'm walking Franklin before the gym today because... I just want to get it done and know that he's had, oh, <laughs> know that he's had his walk. Oh, someone's excited. I've got to clip you in. Hang on one sec. We're going. We're going to go together. Hold on, buddy. Anyway, I'm going to Sydney tomorrow, so I'm not going to have a chance to walk him then. So I just need to be organized this week. Come here, I whispered in your ear, in your dream as you passed out. Baby, was it over? Anyway, I'm happy that we got that song and now we are going to go and lift up our body. While I'm out, I was like, I may as well just quickly check the PO box because I didn't touch it once last week because I was away and I just don't want there to be too many things in there. I don't even know if there's going to be one thing in there. Is the camera getting foggy? Like, humid? The fuck? I was right. It was a brand package, which you will see in good time. I'm actually so hungry. I need breakfast ASAP. We have the vlog almost ready to go. There was one tiny edit that needed to be made. I watched the first half on Friday and so I just watched the back half now, but that will be up ready to go at 5 p.m. I'm now stepping into podcast work because I'm recording tomorrow. I also pre-recorded quite a few. So there's a lot of moving parts with your safe space at the minute, not to mention the live show as well. And then I need to put those in the wash. Should I do that now? Yes, I should. I ended up changing the sheets. Oh, honestly, it's so muggy though. Like everything feels a bit sticky. I think I'll take the other ones to dry at the laundromat too, because there's no way that I can hang on the line. Such a workout. I'm gonna eat my chicken snitty after this. I wish I could just click and it be made. <laughs> We are done. Can't wait to get into that later. Apparently it's meant to be warm tomorrow, but not quite sure. I believe that. Snitzel time. While I wait for the microwave, I'm eating a piece of cold. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Just the usual cheese, tomato, kewpie, pepper. <laughs> We're all so excited. Mm -mm -mm. So good. This is the final edit, if you're wondering what I'm doing. Sometimes I have to re-listen to the part over and over to make sure I've trimmed the right thing. Editing is honestly very mundane. <laughs> I'm on dinner duty tonight. I'm not finished work, but it's 5.30, so I'm just gonna start preparing everything. And I can finish off my work before I do that. Ask me anything. And then I gotta wash this hair. Forgot to tell you, I'm making vodka pasta just because it's quick and easy. I just tipped that into there. And then over here, I'm cooking the onions. Just the smell of onions in oil is just so good. Yum. Look at this. Can't go wrong with this meal. Garlic bread. Pasta. Basil from the garden. How good, and then Thompson. Plated it up. I need to get a Sprite. In a mild food coma, but I'm at the laundromat because I've got stuff in the back, stuff in my boot that needs to be dried ASAP. I ordered Uber Eats. <laughs> I had a craving, and it's been 24 hours, so <laughs> I deserve this. I'm in here because mum's watching Love Island and I haven't caught up, so I don't want to see the spoilers. <laughs> Felt so, so good. 
wash my hair. Yes. Trust the process. Alright, now we wait. I didn't straighten my hair, I just dried it off and I'll put more heat on it in the morning when I wake up from my flight. But I will see you guys then. Good night for me. My eyelid is so puffy, I've got mascara on them and <laughs> it's really annoying. I open this. Alright, we are ready. I'm going to quickly eat. What am I, Uber? I'm going to take a jacket because I let my lesson last week on the plane. <laughs> Didn't I? I like to think that because I don't have the suitcase, Franklin doesn't know how far I'm going because I feel bad. But I'll be back tonight. I'm just doing... Morning flight, afternoon flight. You're welcome. I need to order the Uber. I made it to the airport with a minute before boarding opens. That's not like me. Anyway, the Uber driver was so cute. I should have driven truthfully, but he offered me lollies, he offered me water, he was explaining what my name meant in his country, and yeah, he was just really cute. Anyway. I have anxiety because I thought I was going to miss my flight. I feel like I'm going to throw up my breakfast. I've got a window seat. It's really foggy, like there's no visibility. So I hope the takeoff will be okay. I'm really nervous. Can you see what I mean? It's like really muggy too. It's giving a tropical North Queensland vibe. My head is gone. I bought my straightener. Thank God. <gasps> Santa died. RIP, buddy. Yes, literally. The Queens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hard at work. <laughs> oh no, you can leave it in. You can leave it in. Um, essentially, I needed a hobby, and I have always wanted a cricket machine. And I need to rationalize it in my brain as to why I should spend several hundred dollars. How and much I, was it? I bought it on Facebook Marketplace for 180. Oh, okay. And then I did go to Spotlight and buy a hundred dollars worth of more things. Thrifty queen. I'm happy that you got it on Marketplace. Um, and, and I just wanted more funky t-shirts. So we, I thought, I do it myself. Yeah, I love you. But now I'm going to be buying a whole bunch of t-shirts that I'm going to have to store like 75 custom t-shirts. Yeah. But find these on my Depop when I wear them once and then never again, guys. <laughs> She's a side hustle queen. <laughs> we are about to record. I actually need to go and touch up my makeup. I just realized I just quickly straightened my hair because it's so humid here. My hair's so frizzy. Not dealing. I'll be back one moment. Mine's got a I was nice a mini skirt today and I was like, that's not gonna go. Not good for the podcast. No, no mini skirts. All right, everyone. We need to take you on a journey. <laughs> so <laughs> Emily and I just recorded a 40 minute Getting ready for 2024 episode. And, and it, we did a great job. It fucking slayed. We then got up and went to turn off the recording to realize it was not recording. Woo! <laughs> anyway, we have to re-record that. And we also are recording another episode. But she's just walked in and given me tiny teddies. You guys know I love tiny teddies. And I honestly, the vibe just lifted. We do this thing in the office when we're all really desperate for chocolate. And we'll like... Get a spoonful of Nutella and we call it like a mud bath and we'll just like dip the oh, yum. tiny teddies into Nutella. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of um, Dunkaroos. Yeah. Mm, they're better. Dunkaroos was actually yum. I don't know. I didn't really like them. No? The biscuit? Probably. No, I can't remember what it was, but something about it wasn't. Oh my God. I'm so happy. Thank you. It's okay. <sighs> oh, I got happy. Who did you get? Grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> So true, my guy. I'm actually grumpy today, so yeah. <laughs> I should have done that. All well, the recording is done. I feel so bad for Em. She looked like she was going to pass out doing the last episode because she recorded three with me for the first time. And usually we only ever do two. 
I'm used to recording like three or even four, so I was okay, but I just feel really bad. The mic cutting out the first time is not ideal. Anyway, I'm now recording some videos for brands to say like Happy New Year and stuff like that. So I'm gonna quickly do that and then we might have to go back to the airport. <laughs> oh my God. I thought my flight was at five. My flight's actually at four. It's 3.22 and my Uber is eight minutes away. I'm gonna miss my flight. Oh my God, I'm gonna miss my fucking flight. I have no idea how I made this flight. I'm just getting on now. And I'm not the last person. The girl at the Rex counter was like, run, you can make it. And I can't believe I made it. I still can't believe I made it on this flight. The flight angels were on my side today. It's a really pretty takeoff in Sydney as well, along the water. I missed you. Look what I walk in the door to. What the hell, mum? You're welcome. Thank you. This is so nice. You guys obviously saw today. I did not eat lunch, did I? Oh. I'm so hungry. My brain's not working. <laughs> oh yes, we love steak night. Yeah. Yum. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. It's so hot and humid that like the floor is wet. It's disgusting. Anyway, dinner went down a treat. I wanna try and go for a WALK. -okay. I don't know if I can take Franklin because it's really hot. It's like still 33 degrees. The sun's completely gone. It's 7.30 PM. But yeah, I'm just lying here trying to get some energy because I am a little bit exhausted. Anyway, I think I should put on some active burn. I think we should go. Might regret this. Might not, we'll see. Definitely hot. I ended the walk with a cyclone and it was okay for Franklin. It wasn't too hot for him. Any earlier, he wouldn't have done it. And every other dog was out in the neighborhood too. It was really cute. Today's the day that's just never ending though. So it just started thundering and lightning and whatever else. And I had a shower. It was so nice to wash my makeup off. I can't even explain. Flying with makeup. It's not it. We're going to eat this. It's crazy because it's like tropical. Well, maybe you might be able to hear it. It's like tropical weather. Yum. I bloody love It's okay, Franklin, please. Sit down. It's all right, sweetheart. He was lying on my bed and then the first thunder cracked and he was like, <laughs> this is why he should probably go in the crate because the crate is his safe space. Mm. Bad thing to eat in pajamas. I hope I don't make a mess. The sky is just flashing and flashing. I just flossed. I put my retainer in and I'm finally going to sleep on the Tuesday that has never ended. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning. I'm so tired. I had the worst sleep. It was really, really hot. It's still so hot. Like I, everything's just... Where's the air? Definitely not in this room. <laughs> and I'm so tired. But we have things to do. So let's go do them. Gym will probably be hard. It's day one of the week, even though it's Wednesday. I did the last day of last week on Monday. So we have to go. Well, no, I want to go. <laughs> I feel so... Ugh. The gym was like an oven. It's a metal shed basically. So because it was so hot yesterday and it's still hot today, there's just like no air in there. I need to pump the AC in here because I am sweating. Mummy's gonna give you some of this today. You're welcome, there you go. <laughs> After I eat, I have to quickly shower and get ready because I've got a meeting at 10.30 in Hawthorne, so I'll go there. I only have like five blueberries. <laughs> In a perfect world, I would have curled my hair, but this is the vibe and we're gonna head off because I might be late if I leave any later. <laughs> All right, that meeting went super well. 
You guys might remember, I've spoken about him before, but I had a meeting just now with Ben. He's my financial advisor. He's actually been my financial advisor since I worked in the corporate space. And every year around this time of year, we'll catch up and just kind of look at the year, the last financial year in review and kind of make a plan for next year and so on. And so I had to see him now because I hadn't really done my tax return until I think last month. So that's done now and it was interesting because it's my first year like working for myself and yeah, it was just nice to chat with him, kind of come up with a bit of a strategy and see next steps. Obviously my living circumstances will be changing. I don't know what that looks like right now, but yeah, that's something that I'm kind of considering what I want to do. Like I really need a way up like where and kind of what that looks like. So that's kind of just taking up mental load. Anyway. I want to go past the shop because I want to get some things for Friendsmas and I'm going to take you guys along. First stop is Chemist Warehouse. I need to buy some gloss. Okay, I had to come back in here to drop off everything I got from the PO box. I'll give you a little haul when I'm home. But we're going to drive around to the other side at Kmart because I need to go that way. Okay, so in the PO box was Ole PR because obviously we did the shoot with them and you guys keep messaging me because you keep seeing it and I've watched it too. I'm so happy. I accidentally opened mum's but I'm going to leave it like that for her when she gets home. Mia from Ole. I don't know if you watch my YouTube but I love doing that campaign with you. I love you guys. I love you as a brand and I, yeah, this is just a really sweet little thank you. I appreciate you. I then got spoiled by Kate and Naked Harvest because they sent me the collaboration, the Christmas collab. So we have collagen jelly, apple crumble mug cake and mousse and then a beautiful mug, which I'm just obsessed with. Can't wait to have a hot chocolate or a tea in that. Not a tea today though, cause it's boiling. <laughs> the other thing I went to Baker's Delight. I also went to Kmart, they didn't have what I wanted, but I got some bread for later. Carla's made something and not cleaned up her mess. And we're gonna make some lunch now cause it's like 2 p.m. I made a tuna roll with the fresh bread. Mm. I was saying to Carla, I can't wait for our cucumbers to grow because they are so much nicer than the ones you buy from the shop. Still good. Homegrown is better. It also took me a lot of energy not to get takeaway, but I'm trying to be better. making dinner tonight you guys. I'm making cannelloni which I've got the nearly ready probably in about three minutes and I'm doing like a burnt butter sage sauce. I will put the link for this in the notes if anyone wants to make it. I have been kind of like cooking and working for the last two hours. So. Oh thank you. <laughs> Stop being mean to me. You're being mean to me. We're having a sister fight everybody. <laughs> Hot in here. Yeah, breathe. she's pissed off because it's no, hot. No, she's just pissed off. She I'm not. Out. I'm fine. Yeah. Dinner is served. I made two trays, the sauce, and salad. Hopefully it's nice. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. We're just about to go to Franklin's Santa photo shoot. And I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure I've got something Santa in the cupboard. <laughs> I've got a whole ass Santa bodysuit, a Santa hat for him, and then a little joker neck thing. So I'm gonna take them all, it's a bit hot. I'm not gonna put it on him now, but maybe when we're taking the photo. <laughs> we are home. And guys, that was the best experience. I'll go inside and I'll tell you exactly what happened. Hang on. He was fast asleep this whole time. You are such a good boy. Mummy loves you so much. And so did Santa and so did all the girls there. So this beautiful girl, Matilda, or Tilly, who follows me, slid in my DMs on Monday night after I posted my Ask Me Anything about Franklin and our Christmas photos and our Santa photos. And she works at Greensboro Plaza and they have a Santa there who does a Christmas photo shoot. Anyway, they do pets. And so she met me tonight and she came with us. She gave Franklin this, an absolute angel. She did not have to do that. I'm not sure if she watches my YouTube, but if you do, thank you so much. And then we got our Santa photos. 
so so sweet they're so cute wait let me show you is that not the cutest thing ever i i can't i'm so so happy santa was an angel too and Franklin was such a good boy. He was just sitting there. He had his little Santa outfit on. I got two of those. And then I also got Christmas cards. And oh, I'll show you once I set it up. Because I got a bauble as well. And it looks really cute. Sorry, it's like a bauble. <laughs> with us in there. Why is that the cutest thing ever? Mum told me it doesn't match. But I don't care. I'm going to pop it over here. Maybe like here. Hopefully not too heavy for the tree. Hmm. Maybe I pop it in here. Sorry, I'm not even showing you guys. I put it right there. How cute. So these are the Christmas cards that I'll be giving to people this year. This is like the only gift I'm doing. And I'll write little notes in there. And on the front, they've got King Frank and I and Santa. Showered, tired, my room's like an oven. <laughs> now it's like tonight, even last night, I'm like, I wish I had a fan. I'm not a fan sleeper. But I wish I had one. <laughs> I need to go to bed. Hello, legends. I'm not feeling too good today. <laughs> my body hurts. And I think I'm like literally about to get my period any moment because I've got like back pain, ovary pain, and I just feel really tired. But I'm going to the gym because it's day two, it's upper body. My back shouldn't be sore in the gym, so that'll be okay. And usually I feel a lot better after I go. Good morning, King Franklin. Tired today, buddy? Tough life being so cute. This is the fit I'm going for. I'm gonna take the long sleeve, but only to put on after the gym because I'm gonna head out and just grab Brucky with my friend Claire. And I just feel like it's fresh today. Like we had a cool change last night and it'll probably be cold and not cold enough for a hoodie, but cold enough for a long sleeve. But I already know the gym's gonna be like a sweat box. <laughs> it usually is after a hot day. Hi buddy, where are you going? You just tried to open my door. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that bad you guys. I'm glad I came. Tomorrow will be a hard session because that's like legs and really heavy. This one was heavy but Upper body does not kill me as much as lower body. So let's go get out acai. I can't wait. I'm going to love a bowl and I've never been there and so many of you recommended it. So I hope it's good. I'm back. Breakfast with Claire was so beautiful. I love spending time with her. What have I got here? I got a Christmas card, you guys. Oh, that's so nice. Got a Christmas card from my real estate agent. That's so lovely. I'm gonna message him and say thank you. That's so sweet. And what am I doing now? Some work. And then I've got a meeting after lunchtime so I can be a bit productive. Also gonna shower up and sort out my hair and face and stuff because I've got to film some content for you guys and also for a brand this afternoon. So. Time to get really into the swing of it. For some reason, I'm just like a little low vibe, but it's gonna be all right. The best thing about making that for dinner last night is the fact I've got leftovers today. Everyone had leftovers, because it's quite a large meal, but this is perfect for my household. It's like fruit, it's like been in the fridge, so it's quite rock solid, but look at the layering, can you see that? Gosh, I'm good. I had to cut it up like this so it would warm all the way through, but yum. Look how good that looks. Em and I just had a nice long meeting for Beyond the Valley. I'm starting to panic because it's so close and I'm just like doubting my ability, doubting like who's going to be there, doubting if people even listen, doubting if the show's even going to be any good. I'm just trying to obviously stick to what we know and like prepare like I am obviously preparing for a normal podcast but like way more engaging and hopefully more funny and more interesting and even just a little bit better because it's live but I'm really scared guys but I also know I need to do it because I need to put myself out of my comfort zone it's a great opportunity great opportunity like I'm so grateful and this will help get me ready I want to do my own live show one day <laughs> 
I need a shower now. showered, makeup, hair done. I filmed the content for my brand campaign. I'm now running into spotlight. I've got things to get for Friendsmas, which I'll show you if I hopefully get it because Kmart let me down yesterday. Okay, we got bonbons and placemats because the theme for Friendsmas is going to be silver to match the tree. I'm in my silver era at the moment. So this is some things ticked off. We'll get the rest tomorrow. I got to head home now. Carla and I meant to bake some things, but I, get, I got the vibe when I left, she didn't really want to, which is so fine. I kind of can't be bothered either. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm getting my period. I just don't want to talk to anyone or do anything. So we'll see. We might, I don't know, I'll see. I'll talk to Sam and I'll, I'll figure it out. We've moved the table because we're going to do, obviously, friends miss, and I want it to go this way. This is our dinner tonight. Yeah. Somehow I've been moved. Now I'm on this side. Oh no, that's weird, isn't it? It's so weird. Can I have one of those cups? Why are they purple? Which one is on this one? Look at this. What is that for? Frozen Y3000. What is that? Cheers. jump in the shower but I did a live stream we made the Christmas crack and it's been quite an eventful Thursday night little Frank is so tired he is ready for bed I need to start doing my night routine <sighs> why am I puffed out I tell you it's been it's not as humid today but wearing makeup when you're like a bit clammy <laughs> and sweaty I'm like mm -mm. let me get this off so I'm very excited to wash my face. The best part. Oh, I look a bit crazy right now, but it gets it all off and doesn't irritate your eyes or your skin and gets the mascara off as well. I just realized it's a bit booby. Sorry. Finally bedtime. All right, sweetest dreams, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Rise and shine. Guys, I'm tired today. It's not so rise and shine. So I'm a sleepy girl. I woke up at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Why? No idea. Anyway, I'm contemplating skipping the gym. Part of me is like, just go. You'll feel better when you're there. But my body is in pain. Everything hurts. So I'm like, could a rest day be good? Probably. I'm making the executive decision to not go to the gym. I'm just gonna go for a walk instead. I'll take little Frank because yeah, I just feel like my body needs a rest today. I don't think I can push it through a deadlift day. Not, not today, maybe tomorrow. And the best thing is if I'm walking, it's efficient because I can do the half edit of the vlog like watch it and see if we need to make any edits. And then I can also do that for Sunday's podcast. Oh, let's get Franklin ready. Hey buddy. <laughs> you gotta you gotta turn around. <laughs> Alright, ready? Wait. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh wait, I've done it wrong. Hang on. This way. There we go. Alright. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> let's go our walk was really good and we did maybe like 30 minutes I've just been editing and working and now I'm making breakfast for mum and I because it's time it's time to eat <laughs> I'm doing something different with the breakfast today because I don't have any blueberries but I do have a mango and I think it's fitting I'll give Franklin some of this because I don't have any blueberries for him. How good does this look? Mango in the Mango Yo Pro with our mueslis. Yum. Cute. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird because I would also spend quite a bit of time on my Friday getting ready for Tuesday's podcast episodes, but all my recording is done for the year. And 
I'm up to date with all my editing. I'm just waiting for the last four episodes so that I can do the final edit on them. I don't do the first edit, you guys know that. But what the hell? And I know when the podcast will be on break and coming back. The break is a lot shorter for you guys, so you won't be missing the podcast as much. I pre-recorded quite a bit. But yeah, I'm just like, oh my god, what am I going to do on Tuesday? <sighs> I think I'll do stuff for Beyond the Valley. I like to keep my routine and my structure, but... I am currently working on something else. Let me show you. <laughs> Very important work, obviously. My dating wrapped, which probably will be live maybe after the vlog comes out or around the day of the vlog. I'm not sure. Go check my TikTok if you want to see it. But yeah, I think the plan will be to probably leave in about half an hour and go get my gingerbread houses for friends, miss. And I'm going to take you guys with me. Okay, I've come to the PO box because I've got a delivery. I also had one come to my house yesterday, which I was... Was I home? I can't even remember. But they left a little slip, so hopefully the line is not long. Fingers crossed. I'm a little bit worried because this is like a, sorry we missed you from Star Trek, but I thought it just meant come to the post office, but it actually says that your delivery has been returned to our depot. That's never happened, and I need it. Like, I, I, I need what was in here for Sunday for Friendsmas. I hope it gets like re-delivered today. Why would it go back to the depot? They wouldn't take it to my post office or they wouldn't just leave it there. What I ordered was a vegan gingerbread house because one of my girlfriends is vegan and most gingerbread houses are actually made with egg, I'm pretty sure. So I wanted her to still do the activity we're doing on Sunday. And now I'm stressing. I'm here, you guys. Zoe so much and you guys come and check out bake me cake me she actually gave me one of these too I bought the gingerbread houses but she gifted me these chocolate chip walnut you bake them at home yourself they're frozen so I think I might do those for friends miss too but the whole reason that I actually came is to get the gingerbread houses for the girls to decorate so very excited I've just got to get the other gingerbread house the vegan one anyway I'll figure it out time to head home it's a bit Toasty as well. All the houses are safe and back home. In here is the icing, the toppings, the piping bag. So we'll prepare all of that on Sunday morning. And I'm so excited. I loved doing this last year. It was a really nice memory. So hopefully the girls love it again on Sunday. I just unboxed what I picked up at the PO box today. I got it from this company. I will tag them. They sent me this. This is Franklin. And this beautiful note, it's a indoor camera where I can see what he's doing and speak to him. And I'm really, really, really excited. Like this is amazing. And then also the beautiful Sausage Club, who you can find on TikTok and on Instagram, sent us the sweetest note because they knew that Franklin had a rough year and they said that their harnesses are adjustable and safe for his back, which means a lot. And look, it's from Dolly this little dashi here. Also, if you guys have a dashi, Franklin will get you 15% off the website and I will link that down below. Both of these are gifted and I'm so grateful to both Arlo and the Sausage Club and Franklin is grateful too. He knows that they're for him because I said, look at mummy got you. This is an indoor camera, indoor camera for you. So we can see what you're doing. And then look at this from the Sausage Club. A harness, he probably thinks we're going for a WALK. A toy. And, and look, it's from Dolly. Yeah, Dolly the sausage. Or is it Deli? Deli, I'm sorry. <laughs> How spoiled are you? This harness has little Franklins all over it. Ah. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Big kiss for you. I had you guys charging away because I was getting ready and doing my hair and my makeup because it's date night. I'm so excited. <laughs> if I can say that without explaining what we're doing. But it does involve some of my favourite Christmas things. That's all I'm going to say. So yeah, I'm happy. Oh, I am in serious pain though. Like I've had to take Panadol because my ovaries are like Argh. yuck. My hair's like too curly but I'm sure it will drop and I'll look cute. Alright, I'll see you guys later. I'm not going to take you along. I'm home. <laughs> I had the best night. 
it was so much fun like cackling laughter it was good <laughs> anyway good night you guys it's nearly 1am so i'm gonna quickly get ready for bed and call it a night rise and shine guys we're going to do food shopping for friendsmas this morning and i'm excited because we're going to la Mana and oh i love that place so we're gonna go it's early but we want to get it out of the way nice and early before it gets a bit busy today and then I'll do like the gym and other stuff later. All right, we are here. I've got my EE one suit on. One suit. <laughs> Body suit, play suit, whatever. Let me show you the minor. It's not that busy either, thankfully. Yeah, grab a big one. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. We're gonna do fruit and veg first because that would be a little bit easier than doing the cold stuff. We've done the fruit and veg. Guys, this place is so amazing. They have absolutely everything. And I just love the layout. And look, they've got like a Christmas thing over here. What the hell? What is this? Oh my God. Is this not the cutest thing ever? All right, we are done. That didn't take us long at all. I mean, considering we didn't know where anything was. 10, 15, we're out of there. What time did we get there? I can't remember. Maybe just after nine, or maybe that did take a little bit longer. Oh, you know what? Usual shopping takes an hour, so I'm happy with that. Anyway, I'll show you what we got when we get home. So I obviously picked up a ham. This should be enough for all of us. I also got these arancini balls, which, oh my God, yum. Stuff for the cheese platter. One of my friends is vegan, so I got some Koyo ice cream, some plant-based stuff, some vegan butter for her. I've also got some other cheeses and I got honey, like, oh. You guys will see me put it all together anyway. The rest is like mainly fruit and veg. The ham is in there at the back. I've got everything for the cheese platters, cauliflower, pumpkin, lettuce, beans, figs, strawberries, parsley. Oh, I also put the crack in the fridge and it's so good, guys. We have eaten the rest of it. This is all we have left. Highly recommend making it. It's honestly 10 out of 10. Big, big vibe. And yeah, I'm nearly done i think okay so my car is about to be dropped off to james he's going to clean it for me because he's a bloody legend he is who cleaned my car last time let me just show you the outside hang on honestly i could have come to him sooner but i've got those lines again i've got just yuckiness here we've got our old mate spidey where is the spidey got webs you can even just see how filthy she is i'm so sorry molly i do love you girl it's definitely not as bad as it was last time i guess the idea for me is to probably go to him more frequently but just because yeah i just don't have time to wash my own car and he would do a better job than me so why the hell not you know i think it just makes sense bless my mum gave me her car which feels so weird because let me show you the situation it's manual the fuck anyway i know how to drive manual so i drove here fine i didn't stall i didn't like bunny hop anywhere but um yeah it's been a while and i forgot one thing on the list so i'm gonna run into coles and then head back home we're gonna clean and start preparing the food moved the table we also moved part of the couch because we want to open up this space for tomorrow so franklin's freaking out <laughs> he's like what are you doing with everything and look what i set up as well i'm so excited we've got the what do you call it? Polaroid camera. So we're gonna take these tomorrow. And I'm also thinking I need to probably get Ricky's gingerbread house built in the morning so that she doesn't fall behind in the decoration. We got barn meat for lunch today. I hope they wrote which one's which on the bag because, ah, chili, yes. I like the spice. Mum does not like the spice. <laughs> and we're gonna obviously eat on the bench because that's the table. Look how good that looks. Oh my god, this is so good. I got my car back, it's beautiful and clean. He did the best job. Oh, I'm so happy because, yeah, honestly. I also just ran around because there was a couple things I needed to get some drinks for tomorrow, some uh, serviettes. I wanted fabric ones, material ones. And yeah, a centerpiece for the table. Anyway, let's go home. All right, this is how we're doing the napkins for tomorrow. That one looks a bit sad. Who did this one? You. No, I didn't. Yeah, I fixed the other one that you was sad. Here, let me fix it. <laughs> anyway, how cute are they? I think they came out nice. We'll put them on the plate either that way or that way. And 
I'm getting more and more excited. I am currently just doing a bit of work. I'm so ready for bed. I never quite made it to the gym either. Dinner is nearly ready too. Hey. Yes, please. Let me show you what we're having. Very tacos. That was so yum. I'm so full though. I need to not be in a food coma because I have work to do. It's quarter past seven. Good night, you guys. I've just been getting stuff ready for the podcast tomorrow and Vlogmas and I've had a pretty chill Saturday night which is exactly what I needed. Going to watch some YouTube and get into bed and Mr. Frankie's going to sleep with me. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow. We have a big day ahead of us. It's 7am. We're going to start getting ready. I was going to go to the gym but I just don't have time. Honestly, I've got quite a bit of prep to do before my guests arrive. I just wrote it down in my notes. Everything. I'm making this 11 dishes. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm excited. Can I get it done? <laughs> Surely, I've done this before. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm gonna get ready before every before I start prepping everything. I won't put on my outfit until like I'm done cooking, but I just figured at least if I'm done, I cannot stress about oh having a shower and doing my makeup. Like I'm just gonna do it now. And it's nothing crazy because it's just friendsmas at home and I gave everyone the dress code of Christmas. I said you can wear pajamas, you can wear as dressy or as casual as you like, like there are no rules, do whatever you feel comfortable in. And yeah, I've been hanging to do this eye mask, I tell you. Alright guys, I've done hair and makeup. I'm gonna put on a different fit. We're gonna start getting ready. I mean, as in like food ready, and then I'll change into my actual outfit once all the food's done. Cause I just don't wanna get dirty and you know, wreck my white dress that I'm wearing today, which I'm very excited to wear. Outfit change guys, this is what I'm gonna wear. Ooh. Because I just, the other dress I want to wear was white and it was really pretty, but it was like so, so tight all the way down to probably like here and it was flowy, but it was pressing on my tummy and I got fucking bad cramps. So this is flowy up to like my boob stitch. And at least this way, if I have cramps or I just need a, ugh, you know, I still haven't got my period. Hopefully today. Nearly forgot the bloody place. I knew I was forgetting something. How cute, it's a little reindeer. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh, it looks so cute. I'm doing a Christmas ham and I've got it under control, <laughs> but I've just removed the rind. I know this might be too much for some people, but it's the process. I now have to cut it in like a diagonal situation. So you make little cut marks, not too deep. But this also allows the glaze to go into the ham, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Is that right, Mum? Yeah, well, it'll, it'll, um, yeah, go through it. I'll just pull some pasta, not pasta, but fresh basil on the and into the little sauce. Mum's doing a sauce for our arancini balls. We have probably however many meals going at once right now. Okay, it's a bit foggy in here, but my ham's coming along. I'm basting that every, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. In here, I've got the filling for my pumpkin, which is my vegan, I guess, main. I will be stuffing this with that filling. I'll show you that before I pop it in. Here, mum is working on an apple crumble for dessert. Again, we're using Nutlex so that it can be vegan, vegan adaptable. adaptable. <laughs> and we are running pretty good for time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I just probably need to get a wriggle on. I can't make that filling cook any quicker because that needs to go in.
Annie's according to my Instagram, and then Carla came in third, and the rest of us saw fucking losers. <laughs> Yeah. But I think we all deserve a participation point. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. Friends vs is over. Got so many cute little cards too. It was such a beautiful day. Let me show you. We really gave the Polaroid a workout. <laughs> the Polaroid camera. Making our gingerbreads. Everyone got a little solo shot. We have a group one. This one's blurry. This was a trial. Everyone enjoying themselves. Selfie of us to end the day. Such a beautiful day. I love them. This is dinner. <laughs> I'm not really hungry, but we're all having like a variation <laughs> of what we ate today. So good. I'm just reminiscing on the day and I had a nice hot shower and my heart is so full, honestly. I'm so grateful that my friends came today. I don't live very close to any of them. Some of them drove an hour come and I just yeah I don't think they realized how much I needed that and yeah it was just exactly what I needed and if anything I think is actually a really nice reminder to like do the things that bring you joy I know that's like a very large scale thing to host a friends mess and not everyone is in a position to do that but it can be something small like when you're feeling down or the days are rough or life is fucking thrashing you around and you've got to just like give yourself a little bit of a breather like a little bit of a circuit breaker a little moment of joy today was that for me and i just love my friends and some of them couldn't come because they already had other christmas plans i know it's a busy time of year but i'm really grateful for everyone that came and i think they had a good time too which is what i really wanted and yeah my tummy is full my heart is full I'm so happy I did it. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap the vlog up and say goodnight because I am feeling ready for bed. <sighs> A couple of things. Christmas giveaway, keep an eye out. I'm still not final on what's in the giveaway. I did put up a question box in my close friends channel on Instagram, the broadcast channel. Go and join that if you haven't and request something that you want in the giveaway. There were some really cute suggestions in there and yeah, I'm just, I obviously want to do it. It'll happen before Christmas. Secondly, if you are a viewer of mine and you're in far North Queensland, I hope you're okay. I've been watching on TikTok some really harrowing stuff. You've got flooding and it just makes me sad and I just, I'm thinking of you guys and I hope that you're able to get the support and help that you need and hope that you guys are safe, all right? And then what else am I, thinking i can't remember if i've said anything in this vlog that i needed to wrap out but anyway home stretch to at the end of 2023 hang in there guys we can do it and i know a lot of us might be going into our last week of work before holidays if that's you i hope it's amazing don't panic yourself there's only 24 hours in the day if you're not going to get shit done leave it till next year if you're working all the way through that's okay get that bag we're gonna make it rain <laughs> I'm just talking absolute smack. I need to go to bed. Good night. Sweet dreams. I'll see you next week.